Hi friends from YouTube, this is Wife from the Lopez Garden and I just wanted to show you real quick what I'm doing. So last time I planted some dragon fruit and apparently when I transplanted I was a little rough on them. Either that and the weather change it was too rough and they didn't survive transplantation. So I'm trying again. So all I did was I got my dragon fruit, I cut it in half and got all the fruit outside with a spoon. And I put it in a cup, put it in the fridge. The leftover, because there's always leftover, had enough seeds for what I'm doing right now. So what I did is I scraped the leftover, had a bunch of seeds, I put them in my cup, I added water, and I started uh, pressing the pulp so most of the seeds were floating like this. And then what I did is with my same spoon, just carefully, start putting it in the napkin. And then I just squeezed it for most of the juice and water to come out that I did in the sink so that the remaining is easier to scrape off. Then what you do, you do the napkin method. You just grab a normal clean napkin and you um, get it wet. Then you squeeze most of the water out so it's just humid. And this is how easy it is. This is where I was pouring the pulp with the seeds. I see my seed. I just grab it with my finger, even with your nail, you can kind of scrape it, see? Well, maybe you can't see, but that's the seed. And then all you do is rub it against the clean napkin, and there you go. So the, the, important, here, the, the important thing here is to give space between every seed, because once they start germinating, you are not going to pull them out like I did last time. You could do that but it could be a little rough and that could make it have been the cause for them not to grow and survive transplantation so what we're going to do next time is just gonna, we're going to cut between them and maybe not even cut, just plant it like the whole thing and that way follow the, the growth because I only got to that step that last time so that's what I'm doing right now as you can see these are my dragon fruit rows and I'm gonna make several of them. I'm not gonna put them in a Ziploc bag this time. I could, but I don't want to. This container that we got, um, have, I saved. I think we had some chicken or something for dinner. So I saved it from that time and it's deep enough that it would allow the dragon fruit to grow at a certain height. All I'm gonna do is cover it with plastic so it's airtight. And every two days I'm gonna spray it with water, not to get it really damp, just moist enough, and because these plants like to be moist, and just keep it partially shaded until it's time to transplant. And with this time, I'm gonna show you the process as they're growing. So that's what I'm doing right now, and that easy. You just pull your seed, rub it in the clean napkin, and that's it. That's what I'm doing. So. Thank you for watching, and if you want to try this project, I mean, honestly, I love dragon fruit, and sometimes I can't find it, and when I do, I mean, I was lucky that this time it was on sale, so I took advantage, I grabbed one, maybe I'll make some ice cream with it, because you can do that, and then just see if it grows, so next time, maybe in a year or so, I can have my own dragon fruit, woohoo, because since we grow everything organic, it'll be my homemade organic dragon fruit. Yay for organic. So thank you for watching.